everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. What's well, a day I have a haul for you guys? Uh, this is going to be TJ Maxx, uh, what else? Ulta, and Sephora. Sephora, and I have a couple of things that I bought. I have them on. So let's just get right to this. Um, I picked up these shoes, and I have something similar already that I bought a few years ago. Uh, but this is from Blowfish, and these are a size 9. Yeah, Blowfish. And I really, really like them. I, like I said, I have something very, very similar to these. But I think right here, it's like a lot of, a lot of little holes, I think. But very similar. I, I even think it's the same brand. But anyway, I got these. And these were... Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Now they do have these in black, uh, and they have one in eight and a half. The eight and a half actually fits me a little bit better. Um, and what worries me is that, you know, as you wear things, uh, it stretches out a little bit. I feel like you're too high. Let me bring you down. Uh, it stretches out a little bit, but it's okay. It's okay. But the black ones like this, uh, they have it in an eight and a half. But the black ones are still $16, and that's a clearance of $16. I think these run $24 there. Anyway, I got these for eight. I really like the color, so I got those. I got those. Okay, and then I just picked up some acetone, 100% pure acetone. So I got some of that, but I can't use it today, guys. I got, see how red it is on this side? My nail is like all the way down to here. Um yeah broke off and it hurts really really bad all right and then i picked these up uh these are from fraida Fraid, wait no frudia 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 they're just some hair masks and uh you get well there's eight in here but i i don't know it doesn't say anywhere how many there's supposed to be in here but there's there is eight in there and i got these for three dollars and these are firming masks, so that's nice. Anything that'll firm me up, it's good. It's good. All right. And then I picked this up, and I did use this today, and ooh, my hair feels so, so good. I've been laying down. It was a lot fluffier. I was, I've was i been laying down and things, so it's, it's flat. But anyway, it's a 10 Miracle Moisture Shampoo Hydrating Miracle. I got this. Now they had another one. And I can't remember what it was for. The purpose of it. Was it for hair colored hair? I don't remember guys. But I wanted something that was moisturizing. So I picked this up. And I paid uh, $14.99 for this one. And I've had It's a 10 products before. Not shampoo. Uh, but I don't remember exactly what it was, but I've had their product and I really, really like it. And I know they cost quite a bit, like at Sephora and things. So I wanted to try it. My hair needed some help. It, it was it was starting to look a little bit too dry. And so I thought, no, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this. And that's why I picked it up. I'm sorry if I seem a little down. I'm not down. I'm just a little bit tired. It's been a, it's been a busy, busy morning already. All right, and then I picked this up. Um, this is from uh, insert name here. It's the Super Shine Serum, hydrating finish serum for all hair types. I did use this today as well, and it's basically a hair serum. And I paid seven dollars for it. I don't know what the original price is. Let me see if I can peel it off. Yeah, it it doesn't show anything. I did look it up online and something like this, or this exact one was just like $31, $33. So, and I did use it today. Uh, I usually use the BioSilk, the BioSilk hair serum, and I've been using the BioSilk hair serum for, I'm not even lying, for at least 10 years. At least, at least. And so I'm almost done with it. It's like almost this done and um, this much. <laughs> And uh, I thought I would try this, and I really do like it. And uh, looks like this, and you just put literally like a 
pea size drop or dime size drop. You start from the root down. Typically I just don't do the roots because sometimes it could be a little weighing or the bio silk, if you put a little too much, it could be a little weighing down, it can. And I like a little fluff in my hair. But this one was okay, this one was really, really nice. I really like that. And it's kind of nice to have a little bit of a change from the bio silk. <laughs> All right, and then I picked this one up. This one from Ather Beauty, and I paid $4.50, and I did open it there. And um, this is pink, and I, I'm, I'm not a fond, uh, too, too fond like of this color, but it has blue in there. And we're going to talk about this one. Oh, are we going to talk about this one? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Anyway, Ather Beauty, I have, what else do I have that's from Ather Beauty that I really like? So, let me, um, let me swatch it. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. All right. Not as intense as it appears. Oh, that would look nice with this top. Okay, all right, all right. I thought, you know, I looked at the color, the intensity, and I thought, hmm, I don't know. But, okay, I like it. Now, what's the name of this? Let me, let me get the name. It's called Influence. Influence from Ather Beauty. Okay, so and I, I'm, I'm imp I like what I've seen as far as the swatch I do. So hopefully it'll work out on the lips. And then I got um, the Ico. Now, you guys saw a haul from me, and I had a haul, the Ico, what was it, liner, the liner. And I said that if I went back and I saw the skinny liner, that I wanted to try it because that Ico liner, it's, it's, it's hard. It's a little hard for me to use because it is like, it's, it's, it's like, a, oh, my God, it's like you dip your brush in ink and you can't like it's like a sponge and it's like you put it on and it's how what am i trying to say guys it's like no wiggle room for error no wiggle room for error it's just shoom, it goes on so i'm finding it a little bit difficult to work with because of that but uh i did pick it up i got the skinny i found it um, i had gone before and they were all gone and this was 3.99 and this one is the skinny, where the other one is just the normal. So let's see how this looks. Oh, yeah, even the, the handle is skinnier. Let's see. Yep, definitely skinnier. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the other one, I believe when you shake it, it has like a little ball in there. Because it's, it's very inky. Inky? Is that a word? <laughs> anyway, Ico, $3.99. I'm so glad that I found it. So, so glad. They only had, uh, they didn't have another one of the of the liner, but they had a few items from Ico. All right, and this one I was very excited from Ico. This is the uh, Lash Alert Mascara Lift and Curl. Um, original black. I, I've never tried, I tried the Black Magic one. Uh, I've tried that one, and it's okay, it's okay, but I've never tried this one. Never. So the Lash Alert Mascara, original black. So I'm excited to try that, but we're not gonna open this anytime soon. This one was $4.99. Like I said, I the one that I really, really like from Ico is the Sport. I don't even know if they call it anymore Sport. Oops, I don't know if they call it the Sport, but it, it's still online, but it might've changed the name, but it, it's a waterproof one, but it's easy to take off um, if they haven't changed the formula. At that one, is the one I keep trying to find at um, TJ Maxx, and I don't. But never tried this particular one, so I can't wait to give that one a try. But I won't be opening it up soon because, oh my gosh, you guys. So I see this, okay, this Kevin O'Quan mascara. <laughs> I have it on today. Uh, and I thought, oh, it was in the clearance, in the clearance section. And I thought, oh, $10. Yes, I'm going to pick it up. I'm glad I waited because I was going to get it last time. And I said, I'm glad I waited. This is the curling mascara in black. And this was $10. And let me show you how it looks. It's a very uh, thin little container. But this is like a metal. 
this is metal um, and the this right here is like a gold or like a brass gold right there and then here's the wand I like the wand I like it a lot especially because I, my eyes my eyelashes the way they sort of originally are all together I feel like because it's small and long and narrow I can sort of maneuver the brush better it's nice however I will say I will this is this is, I have it on today I will say though uh first impressions uh, I guess the first time using it first impressions I will it's very a very wet formula right now um hopefully it'll dry down just a little bit but with wet formulas I get very very scared because they're so wet it takes time for them to dry and then my lashes start to want to come right back down uh I don't think that did that it stayed they stayed right on up they did so very impressed um the first coat that i put on it was very light it didn't glob on or anything it separated my lashes nicely second coat again i didn't get that spider effect i didn't get any of that it went on very very nicely i do have to maneuver the brush a lot to get my lashes to go where i want them and i don't know if that's because it's the wet formula about it but regardless i i liked it it was very very nice and we'll see we'll see if it stays like this because with mascaras i say one thing whether good or bad or indifferent and it always changes as i use it so we'll see but here's the kicker here's the kicker with this kevin o'quan mascara uh the curling mascara let me you want to know what the kicker is i had bought it last haul I did let me show you scooch back up yeah and I paid $14.99 I thought I put this one like I thought you know $14.99 mm. but no I got it for $14.99 so now I have two um, this one's not opened it's still in its package so uh, yeah anyway i like it so far so uh to have a backup of it is not bad so far so there there's that that's what i got guys that's everything that i picked up there at uh tj maxx that was everything all right the next place i went to was i after church i went to sephora it's starting to become a thing it's starting to become a thing guys it is i go to mass and instead of going to thrift store like i used to <laughs> i go to sephora <laughs> And this isn't like uh, this is in an outdoor mall, so you know there's a lot of people walking, and it's got really cute old, has like an old vibe um, outdoor mall, um, and there's kids like playing in the um, you know the water fountains that shoot up, and all kinds of very nice restaurants. It's a very 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 nice place to be, and people watch if you want to. So it's a very nice Sephora. And anyway, I went there because, let me get it, hold on. When I had purchased the uh, Beauty Blender Bounce Primer, when I had gone to get, I put a link here for that video, but I went to get my color match for the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation, but I did purchase the primer that day. And they gave me this as a sample. Now you get three different tones, so I picked the lighter of the, of the three that I got and so this is tone one anyway it's from uh ilia ilia i per, i believe i'm pronouncing it like, right and uh this is a c uh c beyond triple serum vitamin c okay so and what it's a serum it's a serum and i tried the sample and i put it on and i i, I had the nerve to think that i can get two uses out of this <laughs> oh my goodness but anyway I put it on with a brush and I just started putting it on and as I was doing my eye makeup I noticed my skin was like very very smoothed out maybe like a almost like a plumpy look to it I don't know how to describe it but it really really looked nice and I thought oh, is that this is that this you know so I thought you know what I want to go investigate I want to go talk to somebody because I thought if it's not too expensive I'll buy it because I liked it 
So I go in there, I talk to the lady. The lady was very nice. And the lady that I talked to at Sephora, she had scarring on her face. Now they weren't, I, I would say they were more clustered down in here and more, more compacted right here. Uh, but she related to me, you know, I said, I have scarring too. And she goes, really? And I said, yeah. And I showed her and she goes, oh, you can't tell. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I had this on. And then I had the Makeup Forever foundation. I'll put a link here for that video if you want to check that out. So anyways, we were talking and I said, and I, and I forgot to take this with me, right? So I said, listen, I got this sample. You guys have it here. And it's, I told her what it was. It looked like a serum. It has some uh, SPF in it. I believe the name is like Ilya or something. She goes, oh, come with me. Come with me, right? I thought she was going to take me to the skincare. No, no, she took me to the makeup department, right? So $40, $40. And uh, she said what it is, it's, it is a serum, but it's on days where you really don't want to wear much, but it just sort of lightly evens you out and I it does it really really does and I had this one the sample I got was tone one so she says do you want me to color match you and I said oh wow so this is a whole color match concept thing you know I just thought it was a serum like I get the tone but they have a, a, a good or I mean not a lot a lot of shades but there is some shades there to pick from and I've never heard of a serum like that you know so i asked her i go is this like the skin tints like the beauty blender bounce uh skin tint she said yes it's the same concept as as that as the skin tints but with the ilia the serum she said this is more watery this is going to be more of an actual serum whereas the the skin tints are going to be a little bit more creamier so they're going to be a little bit more thicker so they're probably even hide more like like a foundation foundation would i thought okay so this is this is a, a this is a sort of perfecting your skin more than a primer though so it's like in between that you know anyway we did you know, color match me and i ended up using it today on top uh, or underneath i put i put the uh, makeup forever as the foundation and um yeah so i ended up getting number five which is boom boom and it says here Ilia serum skin tint and it's very very watery i don't know if you can can see that but it is very 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 liquidy and you can tell that serum consistency for sure and um yeah see can you see how see that that was just a tap of the lid not even inside the bottle look at that yeah so very 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 look at that very and then it goes it starts to go in like a serum absolutely but wow so what we were going to do is we were going to i was going to buy it i was going to buy it but i also went there because my intention was actually to go talk about the Ilia, Ilia product and then it was to go talk about the Makeup Forever HD under eye concealer because that's this would have been my third week going to Sephora and eyeing that concealer because it's in my radar but it's $27 and it's not on sale and this one was 40 and I said you know what and we were ready I was ready to buy it I said okay because it's really doing something to my skin but she, and I said to her you know what you know what you know what you know what let me make sure because this is really not this really didn't lend too much I mean mainly I got it like really good right here I said can I have a sample of it and then this way I can because forty dollars is a good chunk of change and she says absolutely absolutely um she says yeah you can and uh I said okay because I think what I'm gonna do is get the Makeup Forever HD under eye concealer and she went whoa that is a good one now now she did say though it's not like the uh, tart shape tape she says it's not this one's going to be a little bit more wet in consistency like more creamier where the make uh the tart shape tape is a little bit more drying and i said bingo yeah but i really want to try it and guess what i have on i have it on 
I bought it, the Makeup Forever HD Skin. What is with the HD Skin? That's like a new thing or what? Am I late to the game with the HD Skin, you know? Um, and I got the 2.5 Neutral. Now the one that corresponds to my, my foundation would have been the 2.2 uh, N. That would have corresponded exactly to the foundation, but when we were swatching it, uh, it was lighter, which is what you want. You want a little bit lighter than your even your foundation. But in my case, I told her I actually like it a little bit eat the same or just more coverage. And I go because I do put a corrector underneath. And she says, oh, okay, that would be fine. So we did try the 2.5 um, in neutral. And... Um, I will say, guys, looking at my under eyes now, I will say um, there is definitely much more breakdown than the Tarte Shape Tape. A definite more more of a breakdown. I, I would say, I, I'm not going to, uh, it goes on so good, so, so good. So it's just a little bit darker than the actual foundation. But uh, it feels really, really good. Very, very light, very, very light. But I feel like it does, oh, you can't tell because of these lights. These lights work wonders. They really, really do. They work wonders. Where's my, where is my brush or my sponge? Use this. Um, but yeah, there's that. Okay. Well, yeah. It's very nice, guys, though. It is very nice. I'm just saying in comparison, to the tart yeah it just it breaks down a little bit more here it does but it is creamier the tart shape tape sheesh that one is amazing amazing all right and that's all i got that's all i did as i i did damage with this and then i got the sample of that serum you guys if you guys want to get a sample of that one i would go into sephora it's the Ilia. It feels so good on the face. So good. Okay, moving on. And then I went to Ulta. I went to Ulta looking for some Morphe brushes. I was wanting those specific brushes for my eyes, you know, because my eyes droop a lot. So I'm looking for specific um, brushes. And I wanted to try this um, from NYX. These lipstick, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks with the gloss side of it. And um, I tried, okay, first of all, 90% of the shades were gone, gone, gone. And what was left were like the brown and uh, orangey brown. And I really am trying to find shades that are a little bit different. So I picked this one and this one is in um, Cash Flow. And um, I wore it today when I went to church today. I put it on. And so you, oh, that's, that has a serum. So you put it on, right? Okay. Okay. And I thought, oh, okay, very shiny. Look at that. That's just the lipstick side, right? The liquid lipstick. And I thought, oh, okay. Look at that, right? Then it starts sinking into your lips. Then it's dry like dry, at least on my lips. So I thought, oh, you do need this gloss, at least for my lips. So then you get the paintbrush <laughs> and uh, you just put it on your lips, okay? Well, I'm over here in church and I'm feeling like my lips are feeling some kind of way. It doesn't burn or anything like that, but I don't know. So I look in the mirror when I'm done and all I see is lines going all the way down my lip. I was like, no. Mm -mm. I want a little bit more different shades of lipstick in my collection, but I definitely don't want this. Now they do have other ones from NYX. Do you see how this is drying? Did you, did you see that? How it looks very, very matte. So you do need this. You do need this gloss. But it just makes it seep 
right into every line. So that was an epic fail, epic fail. But it was a nice color, huh? I mean, I, I think it's a nice color. And that was everything, guys. Look at that. Okay, look at I don't like it <laughs> okay my friends that is everything that is everything that i picked up and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys are doing well and i will see you in my next haul okay talk to you later bye